Welcome to New Strength. I'm Christina Cook Lee. New Strength is a daily devotional offering hope and encouragement to people who are trying to get and stay free from depression and or dependency. I would encourage you to read along with me. If you're viewing directly on YouTube, check the description area below the screen for instructions on how you can. Thanks for joining me. Our topic is cultivating the will to live. The focus, trusting in the word, the scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 through 4 from the New King James Version of the Bible. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. The arm of flesh will fail you. Ye dare not trust your own, is a line from the old hymn, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. The verse it is taken from outlines the fact that we can't stand in our own strength alone and be victorious. How true. Our own strength sometimes fails. The strength of people we count on sometimes fails too. A job you were counting on may have failed. Perhaps someone you loved was taken from you. There are so many kinds of failure and things that fail in this life. There is nothing to hold on to. Nothing that truly lasts, but the love, mercy, and grace of God, and the strength of His Word and prayer. When you're in the process of recovering from depression and dependency, the Word of God is a major resource. It is better than a bottle of medicine. The more time you can spend getting transfusions from the pages of the Bible, the stronger you will become. I'd like to remind you of some of the special verses that speak specifically to the area of finding the will to live. You have struggled in that area, and the Bible has precious promises and guidance that will really help you if you let it. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. If you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity and every good path. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 1 through 2. Do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 21 through 26. My son, Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and he will keep your foot from being caught. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your getting get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 23. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 6 and 20. In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity, and by the fear of the Lord one departs from evil. 
He who heeds the word wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 21. He who follows righteousness and mercy finds life, righteousness, and honor. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 13 through 14. Eat honey because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to your taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. If you have found it, there is a prospect, and your hope will not be cut off. On the days when you don't have much of an interest in the future or in life itself, remember the Word of God. Find it and absorb it. It will feed your soul and give you a good future. Declaration, I will find new strength and the will to live by absorbing the truth of the Word of God. As I keep it in my heart, I will keep moving forward. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I would really appreciate it if you would like this segment, and if you wouldn't mind, please share it with someone else who might also benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the New Strength Devotional channel on YouTube or on WordPress, and then a link will come to you every day in your email with a segment like this. And if you're already a subscriber, I'll look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. My prayer is that you will find new strength day by day and endless blessings. I'm Christina Cook Lee.